the KV-2 in Warthunder. Infamous for his large caliber 152mm derp gun, giving it the ability to one-shot anything in the game. But what happens when you squeeze his barrel down to 107mm and then make it even longer? Well, then you have a gun that's easier to reload and it's easier to aim. But even more frighteningly, it gives the KV-2 some penetration. This is the KV-2 Z6. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the KV-2 Z6 because this thing is back on sale so I thought we'd give it a shot. Now I know this is going to make a few people angry but the KV-2 is one of my least favourite tanks in the game just because I feel it's quite inconsistent and of course the reload speed, ignore this by the way because that's an ace crew, is over half a minute long. Now I do love myself a goofy tank in War Thunder but when the reload is this long it can be quite frustrating to play. So, when you can almost half the reload at 17.7 seconds with an expert crew on a thing that has a gun like this, it's actually okay. First of all, the most exciting part of the Ziz 6 is of course its cannon, a 107mm gun at that with 155mm of penetration. That doesn't seem like a lot compared to something like a long 88, but the angle performance penetration on this shell is insane. To demonstrate just how insane, this is the Panther A, an infamously very strong tank from the front, and this is at 300 meters with the KV-2 Ziz 6's cannon, it can go right through the upper front plate. What is even more impressive however, if it's angled, it won't go through, but if you shoot the side of the tank, even from this angle, it will wipe out the entire crew inside and send it straight back to the hangar. Now the reason for this is pretty simple, this thing has more grams of TNT than most HE shells at tanks fire at 440 grams, meaning that at times, even with a non-penetrating hit, it will just kill the crew with overpressure. However, all this firepower comes at a price, this tank is massive, it is pretty well armoured against most foes, you can angle, kind of, but anything with a 76mm or a long 75 is going to clean through you no problem. By the way, if one of these things is staring you down, just shoot it here, it will kill the entire crew. And also, one last downside for this thing, even though it's a personal one, this vehicle for me is cursed. Very difficult for me to win games in this thing, even with stupid amounts of kills, and that trend continues to this day. Let's get into battle and I'll show you how I got on. Alright, here we go, we got an army of PT-76s coming with us. My team are all going to die, aren't they? And it's just going to be me. I'd like to point out that the PT-76 has twice the top speed of me and somehow we're in front. I need to bounce this gun down somehow. I don't know why he didn't turn his front to me. This is really not good. Hey. I need to set up in a way that I can deal with this guy no matter which direction he pushes, but it's not going to happen, I don't think. Did he... He just swung around, right? Poor girl. That is not good, there is an Avenger, right? I got my engine, I'm good with that. I don't know why he just fired that. I couldn't shoot the Avenger through the side lower hull because he only has 12 mil of armor there and that would have been a complete disaster for me. It wouldn't have fused. There's a Panzer 470 up on the hill. Shoot them, my friends. Can we squeeze this Sherman at least? Get him, PT-76. Thank you. Right. Something else is pushing me. Something up there. Or am I hearing my teammate? A PT-76 has shot somebody too. Oh my god, dude, we're getting pounded right now, I think. Yeah, that's a VK, right? With a snow camel? Does that mean you're dangerous or did you buy it? He bought it. Right. 
always beware of people with a snow camel. Because <laughs> very likely they earned it. There's a lot of kills too. What is this? Volumetricized. My favorite. Oh no. Loading the high explosive. There's a tiger there though as well. I know. We're, we're sticking to ABHE. Oh, somebody just smoked them all. Themselves or, or maybe in the PT, I don't know. Okay. Still not enough explosive mass to overpressure him. This is bad. Real bad. Really, really bad. Really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. He's gonna die then again. Let's try and deal with these dudes. Look at this dude. Alright. Tiger's gonna come back again. Oh no, two tigers. Is it Jova for me? No, we're good. This one is gonna death stare me though, is he? We're, we're on our own, dude. Ah, uh, there's a Hetzer coming up behind me as well. I don't know where the snowmobiles went. We still haven't been nuked by a bomb. Always good. Snowmobile is coming. But the other tiger's there also. This is bad. Really bad. Which side are you coming out? Uh, see it one. Okay, you're here. Wait, are you gonna peek this in now? Yeah, yeah, he is. We have to back it up. Um, the smoke off of the other dead tiger is gonna be an issue. Okay, back behind this rock now. We're playing kind of like whack-a-mole. My teammates finally dealt with the thing up there. But there's still a Hesser behind me. Dude, what on earth is going on in the rest of this map? Okay, we're getting a bag though. I'm gonna reverse. It's another Sherman. Oh, it's a jumbo. That's what you should have brought in the first place. So, take note, right? I just shot a jumbo. And this thing has so much explosive mass. And it's APHE that it actually damaged the guy next to him as well. And highlighted them for me. I think we can upper from play the jumbo. But in a very specific spot at the top of the upper plate. Oh hey, did you think that you could take me out with that? My, my T-34 is going to kill him, my KV. KV! He's right there, look! Shoot him! He shot another guy. Right, Bing chilling. Hey. Oh crap. Oh, it's a wobble. Is it worth even firing him now? Is the jumbo coming? About time. I don't think he is. I mean, he might be. Someone is very close to me, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, it's a panther. Come on, turn. Right, he's good. Oh, 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 oh. That's the jumbo. The jumbo just sat there, though. They're on B. That's not good. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Still watching me. 
Right, that KV might get close to the cap and then, uh, sorry, the spawn point. Distract the enemy team for a little bit so I can get over to B and try and deal with that. What? Where? There was a threat indicator over. Where's the red arrow? Up there somewhere. Or maybe a plane. Okay, here's what it is. I need to move. I tried to see if I could hit his roof. Kill him that way, but nope. Right, to B cap it is the to B cap we go. But I do need to get on B. And we actually have to cap it. Despite the multiple aircraft. The enemy's actually beating us up with the SPA. I, I can't see anyone here. I think there's an enemy to my left. Right, sorry. I'm definitely hearing something, aren't I? I'm not going crazy. I do. It's the M19. Got a loader. We, we got the cap, so I'm not that fast. We can do whatever he wants to do now. More concerned about real tanks. I don't know what his plan is, though. But he's still there. That's bad. Don't shoot my barrel out. M19, please, whatever you do. Can I overpressure you by shooting close to you? Right. Loading a high explosive. My, my gunner's red. Or an ABAG. I can certainly just machine gun this guy, but a VK push me. I don't know what my team is doing. Did they just seem to be like almost non-existent? Um, what is uh Ah, I'm gonna take a plane. The M19 still gonna be on B cap, right? C cap is just a total no go. Oh, my light tank is repairing down here. I can see the thing that hurt him. No, does this thing have a bomb site? No, of course it doesn't. It couldn't be any more useless if it tried. I can see the M19 down here. I'm going to have to kill him before I touch anybody else. Otherwise, he's going to blow me up. Good. I just got wobble winded, but we should get this guy with those bombs. Um, I could try push B now, I know there's one less there, uh, I don't know what the quickest way about it is, probably here and come down the hill. I, I really don't like going up to A, especially in a slow tank like this, Comet just kill my teammate, it's game over. Unless uh, Lucy actually goes for the cap, it's over anyway, these are going to be some very large bombs aren't they? Tracked. Alive. But they got B. My Chaffee didn't want to lose the 40 silver lines that would have cost them to make an attempt at hurting that guy, I guess. That's a lot closer, that one. And there's nothing I can do. My teammate did get to see. And that guy, Gressjup, was the one who won the game for the enemy. GG. We tried, dude. Alright, dude. Oh my god. You think the KV1 is big, right? And then you take one of these out. But, oh, the other spawn, we can see it. Uh, my reload's too long to take pot shots at people. It's like. Oh. What's that? T1E1, right? Was that? Oh, was an M6. Bad news. Yeah, I don't know if it was shooting at me or the KV-1. It's, it's the best Sherman in the game. 
my favorite tank. Right, and then my teammate dealt with the other guy. We're, we're well angled and he hit my hole, so. Be reloading again. No one's on sea hill yet. I've got pure paranoia from that side just because of the size of my turret and how flimsy it is. Okay, there's a VK on. Oh, shooting into a spawn from back there. That's quite far away, isn't it? Yeah, I got his track, but I would rather he was dead. Oh, there's a duster going away out on a flank. Enemies on B now. That shot just went, just completely kicked right. I'm gonna end up dealing with three enemies here, and one's definitely a Yumbo. A guy can't even hurt that KB1C, so it's not a big deal. Is that a Pufkov? It was. Oh, now seek out. No, he stopped moving. Damn, dude. Range was good. He's no idea where he was shot from. Oh, that's a guy. Right. Big, big long ball, dude. Big long ball. That, that, is that an enemy there? Uh oh no, it's the turret that's popped off of a guy. My VK is still duking it out with this jumbo. Oh man, I'm so sorry. If it was anything else but a jumbo, I could have killed it as it was crossing there. There's another one. Oh, another Sweden thing. Did I? Why are you invisible when I go into my scope? He's literally popped up for a second and then he's gone. My or my vertical drive is gone too. Now I have no loader. Is that the US 75? Oh, he whiffed it. Okay, dodged. Oh, they're, they're all going that flank now, look. I'm gonna have to get behind this building right in front of me here. So that's a stir, right? The M10 is an issue. So is the Sweden mobile. And there's now a guy on the ACAP also. Okay. That's very pleasant to see that. One less I don't need to deal with, right? Where is this guy? Oh, he's there. Done gifted. Right, another century reload. But uh, the little guy, oh, he's pushing the VK. I got a KV85, hopefully, I'll watch this cross. Did I just see him? What, what is that? Another tank destroyer. Oh god, it's a Chia long gun. Okay. The enemy have two caps now and we have none. So I'm gonna go to A after our next reload. They just tracked me. That is not what I thought it was. He could have finished me off, but he doesn't know I'm not reloaded. So we got lucky scared them off. I think the guy that shot us is getting bombed. No, he's not. At least I know where he is now. Because he's just 50 killed. Moving up, dude. We need to get this cap. Pretty important stuff.
Our KV-1 is almost there. There's a French Sherman to my right as well now. We are not safe. Shit too late. Dude, I'm, I'm hearing absolute carnage over here. There's an M4. Who I think is literally to my left. Behind this building here. But I'm going to... I'm going to die from... This French Sherman if I just don't... Oh no. I think, I think it's all over for us. Just because of our reload speed. Yeah, <laughs> it's unlucky. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go see cap. What are you doing, you dirty little rascal? His vehicle's out. Right, and it, but there's a guy shooting from in the woods. I just saw his gunfire. If we get ACAP, it's gonna buy us some time. But where is this guy firing from? Exactly. Am I getting bombed? Dude, where are you? I, I did see. It. Oh, he's up. He's up there still. Oh, they got here again. God damn, dude. He's all the way up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the Shino thing. I would try Hail Mary him, but... This is not good, dude. I need to get to C. Uh, it's good that we're getting B, but... Um, we, need a, we need another cap as well. There's not much time either. My teammate decaps A. Never mind. Ashina appears to have machine gunned them, and my teammates are completely stationary on the map. For some reason. Right, we're full cruise controlled. Oh no, that's an ARL. It's the good one, too, isn't it? going on the ice which means this turret isn't looking at me all right i don't know why i killed my teammate on b but it's not good it means someone else is probably pushing it right I seem to do it quite well in this but my teams can't really pick up the slack unless we're against Germany, in which case is much easier. I'm very likely going to get bombed here. I just need someone to decap a point. Uh, just to buy us some time. The Tiger is almost there. It's not a Tiger, it's a KB-1C. Which is actually kind of better. We are getting bombed. And I missed him. Can I not get tracked at least? Okay, we're good. He's got more bombs though. This KB1C died, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Still have the reaction in this as well to actually be helpful. So slow. Right, we're decapping. I see an enemy. If this, if an enemy so much as sniffs B-cab, it's over. Okay, KV-1C just took out the Shino. Oh, the KV-1C is still alive, he just didn't cap. Where did I get shot from, exactly? Miles away or what? I'm not, I'm so confused, dude. I just need to get on this cap itself. Or it's over anyway. Okay. 
Hail Mary that we have four deaths and the game is over which is really not good this Sherman is pushing me and I just got shot from this side that should have killed him dude and it's really sad that I didn't but it's a 76 and that's really bad news shoot, shoot my hull again if he shoots my turrets, GG's Right, and then the other guy was firing at me from this way, right? Dude. I'm getting chipped away at- oh, I see, it's an M6. Might be dead here. He got my track. Can hardly see him. Ah, too low. Don't- don't shoot the tree down, it is covering me, at least. I'm gonna get bombed by a gigantic bomber in a second. Is he moving into a better position to see me or what? Because I literally have lost him. He's playing a bit safer. At least I can move now. Oh, they're recapping, eh? Is uh, three of my teammates die. I'm gonna die to this guy. I can feel it. I don't know what my range is doing, which is part of the contributing factor. Okay. The the double turret overlap is a problem. There's two things firing at me now. Oh, it's an anti here. I'm, I'm just trying to survive long enough the tickets bleed. Make sure no one comes from this way either. That went high. This- oh no, I was gonna say, this tree is the thing that's keeping me alive, but it's just died. Can I get down here and time safely at least? Yeah, alright. What is this gigantic bomber? Oh, he's really high over our... Sorry, really low over our team. I, I need to just stop these two dudes going to the cap. But also not die to them either. Oh, there's one of them going. Oh, he's going to A. That helps. Now we're getting A. I think it's a lot of planes, you know that? I think I might go back to the cap. Because it, my guess is that guy has his spawn points. He's just gonna spawn behind me and kill me that way. Ah, one more teammate dies, it's GG. And there's planes with bombs, so... I missed that, Javi. I, I think I think one of my teammates is gonna die. Yeah, and it's over. We, we fought so hard, dude. We fought bravely. GG. So there's two types of vehicles I like in War Thunder. One of them is the one you can kind of control a match in and really determine the outcome. And the other one is like something super derpy. And this thing kind of fits in between. So you can expect that you can actually take out a whole team on your own, but you can't really do it. And it's not so derpy where you can just enjoy it as a derp gun. It's a bit of a weird one. It's a great gun. The chassis is rubbish. I hate the KV-2 just as it is. I've already explained this to you. Uh, but it's here and you can buy it. And if you like derpy guns, this is kind of the king of them all. I do find this very strange that this was pulled off of sale. I, I don't understand why. It's not a terrible tank. It's not a great tank either. And there's definitely worse vehicles that you could buy for Russia than this thing. But Gaijin do what they're going to be doing. Anyway, I'm done for today. Any more derpy tanks I haven't covered, let me guys know. Because I really, I'm kind of searching for ideas. We've almost covered everything. I've been looking through your guys' comments and it's mostly kind of like vehicles I've done before, like this one. So see if you can come up with a unique one 
and I'll definitely do it for tomorrow or the day after. As always, a huge thank you to all my supporters over on Discord and Patreon. To all the tier threes on Patreon to get a shout out. That's Ari Sexy. We we've also had the dead Buffy, Cookie Bird, The Starry, Fearless Germ, Master Zane, Mushy Boy, President Fluffy, Rusty, Stoyan, Toast McGee, War Daddy, Rick, Wolf, and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Cryogen, Cookie Muncher, Paul Hendricks, FTM Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson, and Brendan AK, The Flying Pickle, MB1, Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Lovable Weasel, Rage, Shaft, Tag Tonic, Tanks Gone World, The Anomaly, Vanny, and Mortan, and David Pyrophoric, the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.